Okay, so Medusa last pick for Infamous. Leah style have the mid Pangalia. So Bounty Runes are spawning. Topson has a stun. We'll think about using it. He will. Catches the Marana. Hook. Actually from Ana. Can you get a kill here at level one? They will. First blood. Didn't have the... Oh, he didn't want to level the leaps. Probably wants to have the arrow for, for killing the creeps. The mid lane fairly even for the time being. White Mon actually gets caught by the arrow and he will go down here from the click of Frank. Frank will get that kill. The most uh, survivability build really. And you want to get the snake leveled up. He saw they didn't really have the damage for him before. They got the, the trample. Actually, this is going to be a lot of damage. They got the snake. Tombstone's down. He will have to try and heal, but Medusa's just dead. Affliction, he's trying to commit to kill the Tombstone or kill Cuckoo, but I think neither's going to happen. Cuckoo might actually just deny himself. Top lane, Ana dies, yeah. Cuckoo will deny himself to the tower so he can get a refill and, and come back out. And while Ana does die top, give his Pango a little bit more of assistance. Topson going for the 2-1-2 build, so a little bit of everything at this point. Generally, you want to max out the Diabolic Edict as soon... Oh, Topson, he takes the damage! Leah Style's got no more mana left available though. Topson turns around with the Frostbite and White Bond. Oh, that arrow. It's not homing. It's not a homing arrow. Bottom lane. Click a couple of times. Charging through. He's isolated. Tombstone's down and this is going to be likely a dead Medusa. Those zombies are still stacking up. Parker, he's trying to run away. Affliction says, take me instead. Cuckoo, he's on the hunt. He wants Medusa. Is there any heals coming out? Zephyr gets the kill. Kuku gets it as well. Michael TP's in with the leap and the Star Storm. Gets at least one turnaround. Kuku says, I'm not done with you yet. You come in here. I'll give you the hits. I'll give you the touch. But he's a little bit out of mana. 12 stick charges. Maybe, maybe not. Meanwhile, bottom lane. White Mod actually gets the kill. Try and get follow up. Body blocks onto Parker. White Mod, yes. Good job. This Crystal Maiden's getting the job done. He'll have another slow in a moment. There's the Frostbite. Topson with the follow-up split it. And this Medusa goes down again. We had 14 kills in seven minutes. We had two kills a minute at this rate in the game. Unusual to see such a split build on all this track. Normally they do specialize either in the split earth just to get the, the damage and the radius or... I hear it. I heard neat. Mid lane going in over onto Affliction. Zephyr. It's one more tick of the trample. He will get the last hit. Possibly, they're running down this way. White one wants some. Topson as well could take those stacks easily. Hook into an E. That'll be a follow up. In fact, they don't even need the follow up stun. He's just dead. Lag frames. Leo style in with the rolling thunder. Follow through against the wall. There's the Maledict. Topson will take a lot of damage. Freezing field will be actually on top of Parker. And they don't quite have enough damage. Raw onto the Primal Beast. White one did get roll. Stunned by the rolling thunder. And yeah, I think White Mon's in, in trouble. He doesn't have a wand, and he dies. Back on the top side, Ana getting an eat over onto Affliction. There's a dead Witch Doctor, and we'll just eat up, take that creep. I think he knew he was dying there. Knew he was going to die. Don't be scared of the scaredy boys. Ah, this is a bait. There's a roar. He's going to turn around. There's an arrow to follow as well with the Star Storm, and Zephyr's just dead again. Respawns TP's top and he dies. They're, they're circling on him. The whole side of T1 is sort of coming around, trying to cut him off. They know he's here, but who's cutting off who? Infamous, they're connecting across. There's Affliction. Maledict plus the Death Ward will be enough. Rolling Thunder, Topson. It's probably going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Got the Bloodstone off. There is the Stone Gaze. It is expired. And now. In comes the rest of T1, charging in with the Onslaught and the E. Parker goes down, letting it go, White Mon. Infamous are making their way over now. They'll let it fall. Aegis will be claimed by Topson. Will wear out. And they see Topson. They don't quite get the cancel, but however, Topson's not here. But they want to take the fight. Tombstone is on the high ground. They're trying to get the damage over onto Pango, and he'll die straight up. Frank will have to use the raw. Will it be enough to get away? White Mon, low on mana. Doesn't have any more spells. Banana just running forward. Same with Zephyr, charging up onto the high ground. There's the hook. Catches Affliction. Uh, we'll actually use the the Trickster, whatever it's called. I don't know. The self, the self Death Ward. Hobson trying to get down off the high ground. Still has the ages for 146. Limited, but won't be enough. Hook does miss. White Mon providing vision. And Ana TP links in. Just 
forcing out the stone gaze and that was a pretty cheap force of a stone gaze but it's a counter smoke from t1 moving through cuckoos find affliction they just see each other and, and turn the other way bkb blink in from zephyr with the pulverize they find affliction and he will go down to the lightning storm of Thompson. i mean that's just an abandoned ship there from infamous for a that brief moment they say oh oh hook does get the roll up but the eat will cancel raw onto the pudge as well and there's the rolling thunder coming through with the ags they've actually petrified most of the team Thompson is out of meta and running away white money needs to try and help his team out there's another hook your best tower hitter is Thompson, and you really just need the ages to be able to do this Thompson does go into the pit it's a five man smoke they want to take this fight now they have their ult his roll is available there it is passing it up He's thinking about and the roll into the pit. He will get some chain stun raw as well over onto Thompson. There's the death wood and on top, actually killing Zephyr in the back line as well. He's just going to be dead. So no problem, Beast. The tombstone is on the ground. Buyback from the CM. Trying to get back in this fight. Arna blinks him with the BKB. Trying to get the work done. Over onto Parker. Poor undying Cuckoo. He's in there as well. They're trying to get Medusa down. They will. He's dead. With Thompson now cleaning up the fight. But Leo Style gets in and yoinks the Aegis. Gets the kill and the pickup. Whitemon still letting it go. And the immediate blink away. Give the man a tip. He picks up the shard as well. I see Arna. Doesn't do they know that the team's behind? I don't think so. Thinking about maybe trying to get a pick off. Actually, Whitemon, he knows. He's checking it out. And uh, Leo Style. They will roll on through. There's the Maledic as well. Whitemon will die to the Maledic. Trying to walk in. Arna to get the damage. It's Voodoo, Switcheroo, and yeah, the Witch Doctor will go down. So it's a it's a five for five. More explosions and the movement in the freezing field. Moonlight Shadow coming out. Affliction will get the stun and the roar. There's a Lotus sitting on top. Arrow does miss because of the four star. Rolling Thunder coming through and Stone Gaze right in the middle of the fight. Aeon just props on Zephyr. He's trying to trample him down. Eat catching over onto Parker, but I don't think Arna can do enough. He'll go down. Thompson, BK bead and Bloodstone in the middle of the fight as well. Trying to get the damage done, but Leo Star will make his way off to the side. Meanwhile, down on this side of the map, Thompson's back in. He thinks he can do it all himself. There's a Maledic. It's going to hurt as well as a Spirit Vessel. There's a stun. Parker will just TP away, and Thompson, he thought he could do it all himself, and it turns out he could. The three members of Infamous... I think I think that's gonna be double lotus. Actually, fight coming out on this side. Parker's being caught. I don't think he can get out of this man touch. Try and save himself. But the trample damage is sitting on top of him. But actually, he's gonna stand and fight. Well, the stuns come through. Leo style trying to make as much space as he can for his carry. He does enough to get a single kill. Thompson is starting to look pretty much fully stacked. Look at fire fast the tower dies. My goodness. Look at it go. So many explosions. Hook does miss. Be a refresher or Aegis on Ana. Still going for it there. Try and get through. White Mom blinks in with the freezing field. Leo Style will cancel it immediately. Has the rolling around in the balls. Lots of damage coming out. Beastmaster has died, but with the buyback, actually, there's the Leo Style will get the kill over onto CM. Cuckoo. Ultimate will expire. And Leo Style is just, just leading him on a chase at the moment. I mean, this Pangolier is. is Holding, holding Infamous in it at the moment. He's trying to cut waves on the high ground. BKB is popped. It's the damage coming out from the Voodoo Switcheroo, but that nihilism? Yeah, it is. Parker is trying to hold the high ground with the Stone Gaze. Anna does get stoned up, but they look like they are claiming this Rax. Arrow. Rolling Thunder in 20. Jump, jump in with the overwhelming blink, Topson. Ops the abilities, Lotus Orb is put on him to give some protection. Arrow will miss this time. Whitemon, Four Staff, Blink Dagger, Glimmer Cape, all the abilities to stay alive. Ana, still no shard yet on him. Pumping the roll, thinking about it. They've got all the abilities. In they jump, can they just try and get the Witch Doctor? He's got no buyback. He's just dead. Parker's going to try and hold them back. Hook doesn't quite catch. It's going to be a big roll. It's a big roll with a roar. It's a catching on all three. In the middle, Zephyr charges through with the BKB on Leo Styles to try and do the work. Cuckoo goes down. BKB now on Parker with the Stone Gaze. Buy back on Cuckoo. 
Aegis is claimed. Arrow is going to not quite connect on the way through. The blink out is immediate. But as Thompson got a little too far, he's in the middle of the fight. Letting it go, Whitemon. Trying to get the last little bit of damage. Leostar gets the work done. And the Medusa is falling. Parker, he needs to be able to get some mana back. He does. Will it be enough to heal him up? Pulverize. Catches him well. And he will die. Buy back immediately. Anna pops the refresher. But he's got a refresher. BKB is in a little bit of trouble. Does have a blink in a moment. Does get out of there. Zephyr. 40 seconds on Aeon Disc. So won't have that available. But Topson, he doesn't care for it. He's just back up on the high ground. Bash. Rolling Thunder will come through. There's the Refresher. And BKB as well. He's just committing for this Rax. So it's not Megas. So maybe a little careful. Bass actually connects. Roll through. Actually on the north side of the fight. Topson is still going. Frank has used Raw. And they sort of know where he is. They will catch him out. Minus 20 seconds on Rolling Thunder. So it is ready once again. So Rolling Thunder is pretty much constantly ready now. He's going to peel it up and send it home. Rolling in. No refresher this time. Bash from the swashbuckle. Oh, the eat from Arna actually saving. Thompson. Cuckoo's in the middle with the BKB. Tombstone is down. Stone Gaze has been popped. And perhaps the whole side of T1 has turned to stone. Trying to kill the tombstone. They need a little more hits on it. Does go down. 200 gold is passed over. But the racks, the racks is falling. They have to find a way to get up there. Arkan needs to get in, but it's gone. Megas have not been claimed. There's still a range rack on this bottom side that is mysteriously alive. In they come, Topson. Oh, has a Lotus Orb, doesn't decide to roar. He's just holding for the time being. There's the heat from Arna, saving him again. But this time, the roar comes out, and Arna, Rolling Thunder, is still connecting. Draw on their whole team. It's a three man swatchbuckle with the stuns. Leo style. They've got no mana left. They can't fight. Now, parked in the middle of the fight. Topson has got mana back and trying to own them, but he's all alone up on the high ground. Parker with the level 25. Did hate the split shot. Uses modifiers. Coming in. Oh, they show the decay. I'm sure they should have done that. Smoke dispels. Clear style. Actually blink in. Hex and is save him. They've got a double stun. Hope this buyback can make it back to the base. He needs to live. There is a buyback on Leo style. Tombstone is down. They're behind the base at the moment. Rolling through. Rolling Thunder trying to connect. Will be burning all their mana. Getting stuns multiply off. There is the shard on the deck. They need to try and not fight in the middle of that. Leo style still burning the mana. Buybacks coming out from both sides. Witch Doctor as well. Topson is just farming them at the entrance of their base. Leo style goes down. It's a rampage to Topson. The amused raw Parker. He's still trying to hold the Dusa. He's alive, but he's trapped in his base. The throne is falling. The glyph comes out. It says, Come out and play with us, Arn. And there's the GG. So game one between T1 and Infamous will go to T1. Okay, so the old Enigma Sven combo. It is a Frank Enigma. So ooh, we could have we could have some first blood action here. Both teams are heading to this bottom side. Parker's leading. Probably can grab the stun if he needs it. They're gonna see him walking up the high ground. They see Monkey King who comes through up to the high ground. Who's gonna die first? Michael or Thompson? Thompson tries to live a little longer, but the Razors will catch him. And first blood go to Leo Style on his FSF. They do get a trade kill. Affliction. Might be able to get a toss through. Uh, there's an SF coming. You need to run away. Cuckoo. Oh no. Zephyr. You may have gived a little too far. Afflictions here with the stuns and Cuckoo. It's not too bad. It's an SF rotation for a, for a forward death. So too bad bottom lane. Arna has been pressured again inside the shards. Hooks under the tower. Trying to get a kill. Will there be a trade for Whitemon? He will get the plus two. Assuming once he gets a point in uh, Glaives of Wisdom. Affliction wants a bit of the Topson train. Stun comes out. Arcane Curse. Roll actually will be there to turn around. Lift. Cancelling the... Oh, no. Lift him even closer. Got to be careful. Black Hole catching onto two. Thompson will go down as well as Whitemon. And even right now, I mean, Whitemon, he's just food. If he gets caught, hook under tower. With the silence. There's the roll through onto Anna. He's pretty low. He's dying quickly with the rot. He will eventually get the kill. Thompson's here. Has a plant boundless. He wants to use it. And there it is to get finished the kill. Down to 15. Also, this as well. All the abilities have clear reduction. Uh, charging through with the onslaught. We'll actually find over onto Tiny. I mean, it's just a support, so. 
Thompson working towards the Echo Saber, not too far away, about 500 gold now, and the four man smoke comes out. We have a Global Silence Cuckoos lead the charge. A little, bit, a little bit too far forward, maybe. Find Parker. There's the stun. Follow up with the Onslaught. Global Silence just to make sure you secure it. Pulverize on top with the Wicons command. And there's no way he's getting out of there. However, they might turn around. Tusk is here getting on top of White Mon. That will be a dead silence of Black Hole. We put down on the Monkey King and along with the Requiem, Thompson. He can't he can't get out of there. It's a stolen black hole. But uh it's not the kind of stolen black hole you wanna have. Scepter now available. Affliction has no blink dagger. I'm not sure there's a way out of this for him. There's a lift, there's a charge if they need it, but yeah, that's, that's just enough. He I mean he was getting eaten by the, the pudge, the butcher, and then pushed away from the charge. Wukon's command is put down. Won't actually get the kill. Moving forward, Leo style. Will pop the illusion room. BKB now from Cuckoo. He's really trying to press forward, but the shards from Michael actually stopped the escape. And I think he would have sacrificed his life here for this, for the cause. Yeah, sacrificed his life for the cause there, as uh, the SF is able to run himself away. Otherwise, that would be a dead SF and probably a dead tusk as well. Stun comes out, catching him. He might just die anyway, the hook. He's dead before it gets there. Underneath the Midnight Pulse, Storm Hammer. There's a black hole, Silence Global. Instantly taken off. Is there a Rubik with a the steel? There's the Eat happening over onto Affliction. And they're just holding him in position. Triple kill now for Cuckoo. Stun, level four. There's the jump in. Snowball as well. Should be enough to kill Ana. Although the snowball's not actually connecting on him. It's going for Cuckoo. Is there another punch as well? No. There is not. And the, the shards actually. This is a nice little uh, parting gift. To clear some creeps. Seem perhaps. That's a lift. Long range lift Cuckoo with the follow up. Pulverize. BKB with the trample. Oh, that was that was a whoops there from Ana. That was a whoops there from Ana. That could have been very, very bad. Lucky that last tick of the trample got the kill. Otherwise, that was a <laughs> could have been a potential grief there. <laughs> All reports, nine reports for Pudge. I don't think T1 actually see it charging through. Stun will miss Snowball. Will buy a little bit more time. Rolling forward though. Stun connecting on Cuckoo, and then on to Whiteman. So Parker comes in. There's a stolen black hole. Oh, it turns around on the infamous. And coming through, Leo Star will still die to the trample damage while in the air. Oh, dear. It's the longest range avalanche in my life. This is a level 3 arcane supremacy. It could be a little longer, but with the other lens, that was a long cut. Look at the cast range on this thing. Unless you see the silencer and the Rubik in the same black hole. Cuckoo charging out. Malthus will connect. Avalanche won't do so. And happily just defend that tower by himself. Doesn't even know. I think there's four members behind. Punch coming through. We'll actually find the, the silencer. So there's no global. Maybe a black hole could actually be cast. There it is. Actually catches onto two with the Sven Parker hitting as well. With the Wraith Pact. And that's an Aegis over onto Sven. Point me at him. He's already got bonus 215 damage. He's going to have more. Oh, watch him disappear. There goes Silencer. Arna will try and Ogre Seal Totem away, but the Yules catches him for the TP and... Yeah, well, that's a lot of damage. Plus 520. Builds into Lincoln's on Frank, but it's not even the BKB just yet. TPs are coming top. Mass TPs. Cuckoo's being caught in the black hole. There's no silencer for another four seconds. They knew the timing perfectly. Yules to keep him away. And there's the Warriors Punch with the follow-up snowball, if necessary. The timing was perfect on that. Oh, they're looking... Okay, Anna pops the BKB with the dismember over onto the Pudge. Snowball will buy some time. On the bottom side, Parker though, he's going to work on White Mon. He needs to cast the global. He doesn't get it off in time. 
Ana now without a BKB has been a little bit isolated. And Parker, he deals a lot of physical damage. Actually, pulverized BKB from Cuckoo, trying to lock him down. Thompson has arrived as well, but the toss up into the air with the spirit vessel. He's slowly being hit down, and Parker's just dealing with Thompson. And Parker, he's going forward even more with the blink. Zephyr blinking further. Will TP away and it'll be fine. Five man smoke now through the mid lane. Zephyr looking to get the catch. Got the other lens. Maxed out Arcane Supremacy. Storm Hammer in hand. And now it's the counter smoke from Infamous. They're going to meet in this mid lane. Ooh, they're charging it out. Onslaught. It's coming through. He is. He doesn't quite connect. Buku. The lift does connect on a creep. And BKB from Leo Style. The fight's actually kicking off on the top side as well. The silencer does go down. There is a buyback available, and he's probably going to hold it. Buyback, silence. So stopping the black hole. Ana still trying to fight up against the two cores here. And he's going to eat, and he's surrounded. He can kill Leo Style. Maybe he can, but that's all he's going to get done. Meanwhile, the fight is still occurring. Affliction goes down. Cuckoo and Topson able to get the work done. Two for three. I guess it's a three for three technically with the buyback from the silencer. Zephyr. Probably 300 gold away with the Philly Stone. Not too far now from getting that Aghanim Scepter. I believe you'll buy out for it. Refresher being queued up for Cuckoo as well. I think he should be fine in terms of mana. He's got 1200. They're not too expensive in terms of the spells. So double uh, BKB, double Pulverize. Won't be too far away. Mid lane. Stun's actually come out. They've caught the Sven. BKB's inside the Wukong's command. Hook misses. Punch onto the side. Catching out Cuckoo. He's going to charge straight in. Avalanche. Stolen Avalanche. They get the Sven. He's dead for 100. Now, a side of Infamous. They need to run. There's no salvaging this fight. Down the top. I guess the Rock Throw is not bad. Oh, the Telekinesis targeting allies is, is actually mint. Zeph is hanging around. He wants it. He's like, boys, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the pit. It's in the pit. And the smoke from Infamous. They're in the river. They're not really going anywhere. They blink up. And Thompson chucks down the Wukongs. Just a zoning. It's a zoning Wukongs. It will actually be dispelled. He moves outside of it. But Infamous, they're running. I think Infamous were trying to make use of this timing. Jumping in. Actually, there's the BKB. Black hole. They catch it onto two. Zephyr, he's not in the area. He's been caught by Parker. So there's nothing to cancel it. Topson, he's in a lot of trouble. That's the first life. Have to try and fight his way out of this, but with the punch, and he's just controlled and brought down. Cuckoo, he will be the same as well. The snowball is coming through and following with the shards. Leo style, have a couple of raises if he needs it. And Parker just gives him the smack with the sword, and that's a huge fight. The infamous right in front of the tier two. They're trying to be greedy and get the Megas. Lifts are now down. So these, these buildings will fall incredibly quickly. But the buyback from Topson does save the Megas. I think no doubt it would have been Megas without the buyback. Anything might happen here if he's not careful. There's the Blink, BKB, Black Hole. There's the Global Refresher. Immediately on the back line, the Requiem cleans them up. Feared away. And there's the second Black Hole. And they don't get it that one either. There's a stolen black hole from Zephyr, but it's just a little too late. Cuckoo tries to come across to make the connection, but with the BKB buyback from the silencer, it's just they just can't get enough done. There's a couple of buybacks, but you can't help but you can't but think that uh, with no Pudge, no Topson, their cores are gone. Yeah, on top of the uh, top of the base goes in Cuckoo with the charge Onslaught does get punched up in the air Ogre Seal Totem back but he's trapped in the shards Parker comes up cleans house with the great cleave and the god strength and that's GG game 2 will go to Infamous and it'll end up being a 1-1 in this group stage match